Hi everyone, I'm Danielle and I'm from Snippets of Inspiration blog and today in this video I'd like to talk about the flip diaper. Here we have the flip diaper and this is in the Louis print named after Louis Armstrong. You may know him as the African American jazz band singer from the 1940s and 50s. I love music. I was a music major in college and so, and I also love Louis Armstrong. Seen a ton of movies that he's in, listened to lots of his music, so I just thought this diaper would be perfect. So it's really cute. You can see it's got orange, red, teal. These are all of their main colors, two bum geniuses. And here's what the back looks like. And this is a flip diaper, so this is considered a diaper cover. And then this is make from the makers of Bum Genius. They also have inserts that you can buy straight from Bum Genius, although I did not buy those. But um, this diaper, I think I got this diaper for $15. Now for a diaper cover, I would say that that's a bit expensive, but I really like this print and I had not yet tried the flip diaper, so I thought I would go ahead and give it a whirl. So on the outside, it is a PUL uh, waterproof layer to keep all of the uh, liquid inside. It's got um, a three-step rise. Baby boy is about six months old, about 25-ish pounds. He's a pretty chunky baby, so I just have this on the tallest rise it'll go. It's a little bit big for him, but it works, so I don't have a problem with it. Um, so here's the tag. What the tag looks like, it says flip on there and um, it's got I got it in snaps I just like snaps better than velcro wow that's really tight and then across the top it's got the two rows of snaps one for the waist and one for the hip and you can get a good fit with that and then I'll take out the insert that I have and I'll show it that to you in a second but this is what it looks like it doesn't come with any inserts whenever you buy it from cotton babies or wherever you're gonna buy it from um, it's just like this now it along the top part where this would meet his stomach it's got this um, waterproof layer across the top I like that it also serves as kind of like a flap to put your inserts in I do like that along the back though it's got this little flap but it's um, ruched up here so it's like gathered so it's not really gonna hold much in so I'll put stuff in here but it easily wiggles out but it's back there I don't know maybe it's for aesthetics um, but you've got um, elastics along the back and along both sides of the leg. Now these elastics, um, it's no secret that Bum Genius elastics are not amazing. They'll have to be replaced. But like even doing this, I can tell that they're kind of flimsy, um, not like uh, other diapers that you might have, which is kind of disappointing because I know that it probably won't last the length of the diaper, which means I'll have to replace it. But I think the print was worth it, so I got it. Um, and then right here is just the exposed um, you well and then you would put inserts in now the inserts that I use I really like flats I just flats are just really big pieces of material and you can fold up now right here you can see that I've got a lot of um, absorbency up at the top and then not as much I've got a boy so this is where he needs the absorbency and then I can just lay this into the diaper and it works I also use pre-folds but I actually I kind of like flats a little bit better um, this is how I would put it in and here the flat goes all the way to the edge now bum geniuses their crotch area right here is pretty wide my pre-folds that I have they fold in thirds and I'll lay them in here but they're rather skinny just the ones that I have I have some imagine and what else do I have? I've got some Grovia, and they're the medium size, which is his size right now. But um, anyway, I like flats because I can just stick it right in here. Now this is cotton, so whenever he wets, it'll be like right up against his skin. So what I do is I take one of my, um, this is a micro fleece that I got from Joanne Fabrics, and I just cut it into strips. You don't have to sew it or do anything to it, and you just lay it along the inside. This is great because it helps him not to feel wet and get a rash. And it's also fabulous because if he goes stinky in here, then I can just lift this up and throw it away and this doesn't get all disgusting. So this is the flip diaper. I like it, except for the elastics, and I really like the print, so it's worth it. This is the Nikki's diaper, and it's very similar. Um, Nikki's diaper has double gussets around the leg, flip does not. I haven't had a problem with these, and so I guess for me it's not been a problem but I just wanted to compare just so you could see this is opened um, there's one more it can open up this is opened all the way up so you can sort of see a size difference I think Nikki's diapers they run a little bit bigger as far as the crotch um, I know that I don't have it perfectly lined up I think that Nikki's diapers just a little bit smaller um, but I like the diaper I would recommend it they've got really cute prints right now their limited edition prints are really cute and it might be worth it to you if you happen to like some of the stuff that they've got on their site right now cotton babies is where you would find it and um, anyway 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this was helpful, give me a go ahead and give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe for more videos and you can visit my blog. I've got giveaways going on there sometimes. Just stuff about me and my life and baby. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye bye.